Hey everybody, Jerome Maldonado. Today, we're buying windows and doors. Pella windows, and I'll tell you guys that I'm gonna show you guys and run you guys through the entire process of how I actually unfold my prints, order my windows, put my deposit in, get them ordered and off, and how we make minor modifications. How we're gonna take those window packages, we're gonna come in and, and with those modifications, send them back to our architect and make sure that our framers have the exact same prints that we're ordering for the window so that the framers and um, the windows all match when they go in, they slide right in like a glove. And so we're gonna show you the process of buying land building houses. This is phase number three, ordering your windows, ordering your lumber package, ordering your trusses, and getting your builds um, organized and managed so that you have materials once you actually push forward on turning dirt, which we're doing in just a couple weeks from now. Come on in, let's see what, you, let's see what we have going on with Pella windows and doors. So every time I go through my window package, um, I, I go in and I try to save money on this stuff, but I try to make sure I'm giving the best product that I can to my customers. There were some windows that were too small. I like the big windows for the big views, and then I like to um, cut down in areas that they don't make sense. Plus, I like my street side views to have large windows to make it look like part of the house when we have the garage. So we made some minor modifications. I'm sending this back to the architect so that my prints actually match my window package that we're ordering. This way when my framers come in and they start framing the house, they don't make mistakes in regards to how they frame the windows. And so I'll get my window takeoff package like from, from my distributors. We just happen to use Pella on these ones. And, um, and when we go in and we, uh, we actually purchase the windows, they'll give me what's called my spec sheet, which gives me my rough opening. So when you guys hear me say RO, that means rough openings for the framers. And then it gives me my, my physical um, sizes. So you'll say like 8060, that means it's eight feet wide, six feet tall. Um, whatever you put first is the width of the window, then it's the height is the second number. And so when we're making modifications to this stuff, that's what we're doing. And so that you guys understand what we're talking about. So we're talking English to you guys instead of um, uh, Mandarin or some other language. Um, I want to make sure you guys understand that when I say like 8060, that's eight feet wide, six feet tall. As I made mention, this house sold for just shy of 600,000 last year. About a year and a half ago, I built this exact same home. And I typically don't build the same exact home twice, but um, because I tr was trying to do it really quick um, to document the process for people, I found a house plan that worked on the lot and um, we're duplicating it. And so we're able to move through the process quicker. And so this same house will probably sell for closer to about just under 700 now, almost $100,000 more, or, or, or at least probably about $100,000 more than it did a year and a half ago. So um, we're seeing the premium increases. And so with lumber and materials going up, the price of homes goes up. And it's a constant nationwide, you know? So if you see the program builders like DR Horton, LGI Homes, all the big guys, um, they're doing the same. They can't keep their prices compressed on their homes if their material costs and labor costs are continuing to rise. So they have to uh, price the homes accordingly with inflation. So we're doing the same. You know, I, I try to cut corners to build the best quality home for the best price I can. And a lot of times I wouldn't put Pella windows in my homes and one of the reasons why is because they were more expensive. Well, I know the owners, they give me a really good rate on my windows. A lot of times I just use builder series windows, um, lower grade windows because windows don't sell homes. But windows do sell homes when you put a, uh, a logo like Pella. Pella has marketed themselves well. So for marketing purposes, I'll leave these stickers in my windows all the way till we go to sale, even after the cleaning lady cleans because it's a marketing deal. And they're like, because what people think psychologically is they go, wow, if the quality of this house is Pella quality, because Pella is a quality window, it's one of the more higher and more uh, um, upper echelon of windows, they go, this must be a good home. And so it's psychological, but I'll leave those stickers in my windows throughout the entire build process while people come in and the house is for sale and um, they come in and they, they love having that Pella brand on the windows and it just, it's, more, it's marketing. That's all it is, 100% it's marketing. Difference between those two. That's great, cool. All right, you guys need a check for half down, right? Um, yeah, yep. Let's get those bad boys ordered. Great. And if for some reason, uh, I've got to double check the patio sliding door lead time. 
It might have been a little bit longer. If we have to uh, block it, we will. Okay. Um, the framers have been dealing with this stuff. Yeah. 